English spelling is nuts. It's impossible to know the pronunciation of a word from its spelling and vice versa. One of the reasons for this is silent letters. Letters that are part of the spelling of a word but are not pronounced, like the P in psychology. When we learned the alphabet as kids, we were taught A for apple, B for ball, etc. Now let's learn the silent alphabet with words that contain one of the letters from A to Z in the spelling but not in the pronunciation. A as in bread. B as in doubt. C as in muscle. D as in handsome. E as in height. F as in haypenny. Haypenny is how you pronounce halfpenny. G as in sign. H as in honest. I as in business. J as in marijuana. K as in knife. L as in yolk. M as in mnemonic. N as in damn. O as in people. P as in pneumonia. Q as in racket. R as in dossier. S as in island. T as in asthma. U as in guard. V as in five pence. Five pence is one way that you can pronounce five pence. W as in sword. It's not sword. X as in Grand Prix. Y as in prayer. Z as in rendezvous, which means appointment. I'm the English nut and I have to leave for a special rendezvous. So it's bye for now.